So one more gallon would be perfect, but it's working. So actually I found this piece of scrap and then I won't even have to cut it. So it'll just fit right in there. Like that. All it's gotta do is hold my five gallon bucket. Here's my starting hole. about a one and a quarter inch hole this may not be quite big enough um, I've got basically a one and a half inch um, or a one inch bushing that I'm gonna use so it's whatever the outside diameter is that is. hopefully this will hold it down enough that it won't split the soft plastic Let that dry a little bit before I put the other pieces on. And this is just a pump that we had from Harbor Freight for something I don't remember. I think we used to pump the top of the cool cover off before we would take it off and get all that water and stuff out of there. But I'm just going to use it right down in here and then just pour it off and then just some um, landscape uh, hose that we had from up there. So um, the only thing we purchased to make this is some of the PVC fittings. So. That's it. Everything else we have here on hand, and we use this to catch the transmission and radiator fluid already when we uh, change cars and stuff, so I thought I could just use it. It's already dirty. And then I'm just going to cut off a good amount of this so I have some room to kind of, you know, hose around and stuff in here. And um, probably about right there, I guess. Should be good. Give me a few feet.
all over. Again. Get this set up right where I have it now. And um, always keep zip ties on hand. Come in handy all the time. So we use this to uh, secure it to the leg here. How to keep the pump from moving around and stuff like that. So and keep the hose where I can pull on it a little bit and not have to worry about it. Keep it tight and that way I can when I'm pulling it. Swirling it around and stuff, we'll have something to hold it with. So I went and cut me two pieces, um, 117 and 16 um, inches. This is some one inch pipe we had laying around that we're going to be using for uh, putting a water line underneath the driveway later. So uh, again, just stuff we had on hand, but I just got these two pieces cut and I'll be putting them on there now. Okay, so now I just need to let everything dry and then I'll go get some diesel and test it out. So I decided to just use the mineral spirits. Um, that's what a lot of people, it says made with mineral spirits. I don't know what it is, but it, it should work. That's what everybody was saying they use in their parts cleaners, mineral spirits a lot. So um, named a lot of different brands and whatnot. But uh, So this is what I'm gonna try. We'll see how it works. It's pretty cheap, it was nine bucks, I guess. So. And I only need about two gallons anyway, so I'm just going to pour that in and we'll get going. Two gallons should be plenty to get the pump going and everything since uh, it's a five gallon bucket. Um, should be good enough and hopefully it'll keep enough in here. I may need three gallons depending on how much this holds before it starts draining out. So I may end up having to go get one more gallon, but uh, we're going to try two gallons first. works out I'll probably hook me up some kind of little switch here so I can have it plugged in and then just turn it on and off when I need to. See if it started draining out yet. And I'm probably gonna end up needing three gallons. Yeah three gallons would be perfect. I think this is some diesel that I had so I'm gonna mix that in there too. See how dangerous it can get. Probably not even 
close to be used on this pump, but as long as they don't catch fire, I'm alright. So these are all my rods. I'm gonna keep this as the front of the motor so I can keep everything in the same order again. All right, we're gonna let those parts sit in there for a little while, then I'll come back with a brush in a little bit. And it's actually working pretty good. It's this little uh, bridge is already getting clean, look at that. So one more gallon would be perfect, but it's working. And then just pumps up in here. Got the pump coming up into the hose right here and just circulating in there. And then you can, you know, use it around here and just it's bending when I do that. It's picking it up out of the pump. Just a little bit more, but I don't want to go out and get it. I got enough to finish today. But um, I'll, I'm gonna, reason I did a five gallon bucket is so that I can just put the lid on it and that'll keep it sealed. Um, just take the pump out, set it on top of it and uh, move it over to the side where it's out of the way and then I can just put the lid on. In fact, I may even just cut this off an inch or two where I can just fit the lid right underneath there and not have to move anything. So I might do that. That way I can keep it and it won't evaporate and you know I'll just empty this out um, and put it there. I don't know, I guess I should have put this down lower if I was gonna do that. Rethink it so, you know, maybe put the drain. Originally what I thought about doing was putting like a sink drain, drilling a hole right in the middle here and just doing a sink drain with a straight down hole to it. So. Um, if I decide to make this permanent, since we decided we're not going to ever finish this welding stand, welding cart, because now we have the, um, the uh, stick welder that we, uh, Philip bought, um, with his money from working over the sun, he wanted to learn how to stick weld, so he bought that, and then we have all the other stuff to go with our other miller, and, um, so we're going to get a, it's a side-by-side, -side kind of a, it's almost like those, um, black carts they've got. Vulcan that they sell them at Harbor Freight, but anyway, I'm gonna get a big cart um, with drawers and everything so we keep the masks and the, the rods and all that kind of stuff in there. So, we're not ever gonna do this, so I may just keep this for um, for this purpose. I do like it, um, I use it kind of as a little rolling cart for working on the cars and stuff, but um, I don't know, we'll see. Like I always do, I just kind of think things through, you know, and um, this is what I needed right now to finish the Jeep. So. I'm getting these cleaned up, and once that's done, then I'll decide about if I need this more permanent or not. Um, I do have that uh, transmission. I bought a I bought a used transmission for 300 bucks to fix to finish the the Chevy. Um, so we got that running, you know, a couple months ago, and I just have all the transmission parts sitting over there. Can't see them in the sunlight, but there's the the housing and uh, there's the housing right there, and then the bell and. I don't know what that thing's called. Anyway, all those parts are sitting over there, and so they'll need cleaned eventually, um, so that I can uh, put that together. That's one of the things I wanna just slowly work on. I'm gonna buy the kit and try to put it together. But anyway, uh, just a simple idea. Any kind of little cart. Uh, you could just use one of those push carts, or you know, just use your workbench if it's just something, and then put your, you know, hook this up to the side of your workbench clean whatever parts you need, then put everything back in here and put it away, right? If you buy one of those bulkhead fittings, then you could actually unscrew this, put it in the bucket, and store it for later, which I may go back and do, because that's a good idea, I think. Because um, the pump and the hose and even this piece would probably fit in here, then I could just find a lid for that. Um, well, I wouldn't even need a lid for that, but I could just put all the pieces in here and then cover up my bucket of uh, fluid and then put them on a shelf somewhere or something out of the way, so. Anyway, hope it gives you an idea um, and a way to make a simple one for yourself without having to go out and buy, you know, a $130 one or a $90 one because this is a pretty good size and whatever size tub you want, you could use. So, um, you could use the 20 gallon Rubbermaids or something if you want to. I like this one because it's almost perfect height. I can just kind of rest my arms on the side here and clean. So, it'll be, be great for us and it was something we already had. I just was full of transmission fluid and stuff. So, anyway. Check it out, give you an idea to make one for yourself at home, and as always, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.